we're rolling. Hey product design squad, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make really quick few examples of mobile menus. Be it slide out, be it popover menus, be it, you know, fancy bubble menus. I'm gonna cover three examples and I'm gonna do it really quickly so you know exactly, you know, what's my thinking behind, what's my rationale behind it, and how are you sketched to do so. That's the most important bit. So to start off with, as you can see, I have a mock-up I did for previous uh, design effort for Axure series. Look for that if you wanna check it. But I'm gonna reuse most of the components so it's a bit easier, you know, I have a logo predefined, I have some text components predefined, so it's much easier for me to kickstart the things. However, for yourself, if you're following this as a tutorial, I would just recommend to, you know, start with a clean artboard and then play around as much as you can, experiment again. Experimentation is the most important key thing, a catalyst to creativity, and so you have to do it. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how I did. As you can see, my it's iPhone 8 artboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Insert New Artboard in Sketch and select iPhone 8 so the size matches more or less. And I'm gonna name it, let's say, Landing Page Menu 1. So it's gonna be example number one for a menu. And I'm gonna keep it really minimal, real light, so we don't know what we're doing. I'm just gonna copy, copy across my logo for an app. As you can see, there is some misplacement because it's all vectors, so very in between things. But I'm gonna place it here. It's quite simply gonna be a logo like this. Perhaps actually I'm gonna place it even to the right hand side, because why not? Uh, because for now we're gonna have just two components, so we're just balancing it out visually. Next, what I can do is actually craft an icon for a menu, but I'm gonna use noun project because in this video, um, that's not what matters. It's, you know, general interaction workflow rather than uh, tiny bits. And then we can also adjust. And so let me see if we can find something funky, something minimal, something to fit our needs. Again, I'm looking for a weight of an icon. As you can see something like this would fit our theme but it also would be a bit too much. Let's pick something really simple, round it, and then we can probably adjust like this. You can see the smaller icon is the, the width of it, the weight of it is gonna also decrease. That should do a trick. As you can see, we have a simple menu callout. It's quite minimal. You can, you know, play with it. You can do a lot of different things with it. I'm not too fussed at this point. I'm just trying to match it like so it's balanced out as much as you know it's, it could be. And then imagine that we have some sort of content here. Now the next thing what we need to design is the menu itself. Uh, let me just really quickly group these two bad boys into header elements. So have it structured in layers. As you can see, it looks pretty okay. And then the idea is that with this main menu, when we expand it, it's gonna push everything to the side I'm gonna go ahead and then group those items into a new layer. So we have a header, we have our thing, and it's just gonna call it content, let's say. And this group is where our content resides, and let's say for our menu on click, it's just gonna push everything to the side like so. And the effect I'm looking for is, let's say, then I open that menu, is that our icon, I'm gonna make a copy out of it as well. So let me just group it again and call it icon menu. And then also make a duplicate, which is gonna be icon close, because you wanna really keep your close call to action in the same location as your menu icon. So I'm gonna hide the menu icon, expand it and just rejig these two bad boys. And easy X like so, you know, unionize it again, we call combine two shapes together into one and now it's one X. And then we can just either drag and transform. So our rotation could be like 45 degrees, let's say. Yeah, looks pretty good for now at least, but you're gonna see, let me demonstrate what I mean by that. So by default, our icon is gonna look like this. And then we're gonna switch it into X and we can maybe animate it in principle and make it, you know, all like funky and smooth. But as you can see, it's gonna be, let's say that, right? And now our menu is gonna be like a shelf, which, you know, comes in and into play. 
So let me just add quickly a simple line, let's say, a separator of sorts. Again, we need to see how it's gonna look like with other elements because you don't just add elements without trying it. So let me just reduce the opacity as much as I can, keep it like really minimal and clean like so, let's say. It sort of matches the edge of a screen we had before. I'm just gonna duplicate it and call this landing page. And you can actually see my workflow more or less. And let me just delete that. Bring those bad boys back into center. It's gonna be clear for you guys as well as myself. So we push that button, it slides the content to the side and we keep that line to separate it. I might just actually make it a bit like this. So there is some breathing space in between them. They can communicate together, quote unquote and then do the same on the other side, like so. And next, just adding some links to it. So I'm gonna copy the links, and let's say link one, imagine that. And probably gonna space it a little bit, so you can use the line tools here if it's one component. You might want to break it down into separate text fields. I'm keeping it just one text field, but you're gonna see that if I play with a line here, you can space it out and make it, you know, easy to focus for the users and easy to, to use. I'm gonna align it with our content here, optically, of course, um, and then I can just, let's say, center it so users can select one or the other. In your case, you can add icons next to it if you wish. I'm gonna keep it quite minimal. As you can see, Sketches makes it quite easy to align the things around, it indicates exactly how big your things are and, and how much lower you should be going. But I created a few separators here and there. So let's say this is our one menu, which is like really minimal, really simple type of uh, menu. Let me check if it looks better about the line maybe. Yeah, something like that. So it's even more minimal. Again, it's up to you to play around with it and find you know your medium and what you want to do with it. I also see that maybe we need to optically push the icon a little bit down. I just compared to that. Again, you could measure it by pixels. Boom, so that's one menu, let's say, for that specific case. Now I'm pressing Option key on Mac and I'm making a quick copy, so that's the two. And the second one is gonna be similar to what, what you have in this one, just reusing the same, perhaps the same content, but it's gonna be a slide on top. So we're just gonna slide in this menu. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a background to it. Paste the content from the other uh, landing page as well, like so. But I'm gonna push it down like this so that it overlaps a little bit. And imagine that the panel is gonna just go down. You might seen a couple of those before, and so I'm gonna just drag it down to see exactly how it could look like. As you can see, our content team number and that should be really on top. Again, just layer it through. And then else I'm gonna drop the lines up into that. And then this is gonna be our menu pop-up. Like so. It's simple as that. So you see it's gonna like just drop down. And then maybe you can either slide it away or you know indicate to the user that hey, maybe place somewhere an X somewhere down below. It's real up to you. But chances are you kinda want to keep that X somewhere near that or just let's say if a user taps somewhere else you just you know disable it altogether it's really up to you to decide how you want to present that but ideally you would want to keep a call to action element in the same placement you need to provide easy escape basically whatever means you think of I'm also going to add a quick shadow to this one it's not necessary think if you want to but i want to um and i want to add a little bit flatter maybe, flatter and lighter shadow and just lighten it up. Again, think of what you want to achieve. I want to overlay the content so it's obvious. So I'm gonna do this and that's it. And the third menu, it's gonna be totally different. 
So a third menu to show you how it's done. I'm gonna also, but I'm gonna just delete all those things and I'm gonna create something like a menu you would see on, let's say, advanced hybrid type of uh, material design Android, where you have a floating sticky item, you click on it and then it shows you more options around it. So it's almost like a expanding bubble. I don't know what you call it really, but expanding bubble um, menu, let's say. Let, let's use that word for now at least. And I'm gonna place it in a corner, but I'm not gonna place it in a typical material corner. I'm just gonna place it here. Again, you have to find the correct use case to use these things. I'm gonna just copy this styling, right click, copy style of that box and just copy it on this one, paste style. So now we have that style applied to this one. And I'm gonna go down to our menu icon. I think you could have it a, like a totally different icon for that. It really depends what you're looking for, but I'm just gonna have that kind of like a pill shaped. And that's our state number one. Now, if I ex would expand this, I'm just gonna drag another copy of our. And in the expanded version, I'm just gonna copy the bubbles from it and just make it a little bit tinier, a bit smaller like this let's say and just align it centrally as you can see sketch is giving me a lot of guidelines which is super and it's really useful all i need to do is just follow and that's why it's such a good tool for product designers because you can align it pretty well if not perfect it's pretty close to what it should be but that needs to be active so i'm gonna color it in let's say the green of the icon like so because now it's clicked in and i'm gonna just copy the icon as you can see i'm just reusing it left and right but it's great because we are getting somewhere and getting somewhere quickly like so center and just remove the fill and make it green like so actually just so you know exactly what's up i might just might just crop it like this and push it up so you know exactly this is just a snapshot let's say down below i tap on this it it animates them in maybe they rotate and they become super duper cool but that should be okay and now i'm just gonna add icons to these so make them as well clickable you know that's the last step basically so let's say this is our one icon for data and then i'm gonna make another icon for let's say reports or user profile and now here again, as you can see, the thickness doesn't match, so we need to thicken it too. So the weight is actually represented nicely and rightfully. Some of it is quite easy to thicken like this one. And then the last one, let's say really quickly, I'm just gonna add a settings icon. Okay, and that should do the trick for now at least. If we zoom out, you're gonna see that it doesn't look too bad. It needs some tweaking optically. I can see there is like margin issues. The spacing is not like right from all sides. Uh, the users are not gonna notice for a simple mock-up or a prototype, but you will. And so, you know, you always need to play with it. In this session, I covered and showed you how to make simple menus. You see a design for, let's say, a slide-in menu, a design of the popover menu, and I designed for simple uh, popover with like different bubbles. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, technically uh, speaking about product design or sketch or any other app. I'm gonna try to reuse these components to animate in principle and action. So you know all the people are happy and you can actually know exactly what I would do next to test these ideas because you always need to test. Give a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and stay tuned for more material. I'll see you next time.